All right, <coughs> Four Corners Music, baby. We're here. This is the first official interview for Four Corners Music. And we've got 2020. <laughs> 2020. 2020, Corona. You have to make sure <laughs> for the thing is 1999. This is in 1999. Yeah. So we've got the artist, but more importantly, first and foremost, I have to hit this guy here first. Shall we? Guy in the red. The guy in the red. That's the one that we want to get here first. Mm. You try not to come on camera, but it's by yeah. force. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, it's funny because I wanted to know what this guy is about, who he is, and you know what he stand for. Uh, that's what I'm saying about. That's what I'm you saying. You ready? So what we say, Shao? Yeah, they are. Uh, the it's creator not, of Four Corners it will, Music. It will never group. be. It will never be most importantly because the artists always come first. Yeah. Come on, that's that's. that's, that's yeah, but you're that's, the you're, you're, that's you're the backbone. Right you should any, know this. Without time. any <laughs> representatives, there will be no establishment. That's, that's, that sounds like saying? a true professional. But um, how it how it was uh, obviously. Uh, I'm a visionary from before the truth. I've always said, if you're gonna put 100% into the world and Satan, why are you gonna come into the truth and not mm. do 100% or more? So true. seeing, obviously coming to truth, seeing artists such as Gabaya Allah, mm. I could see that. That's was, the guy beside her, right? Yeah, beside yeah. me, Gabaya Allah. He's probably the first artist I've met well, I thought, yeah, you can this guy make, reminds me of yeah. what I used to see mm. when being in the world or not in the truth. Mm. I could see that he needed a bit of brushing up, refining <laughs> and so forth. So, a way I brush. I used to... Uh, <laughs> oh no, what it was, on all seriousness, um, speaking to him, giving him advice, and I can't remember, there was a specific thing I said to him. And I said, yeah, because, you know, you need to hit four corners. Mm. And then I think he took it on. And so I said, yeah, <laughs> four corner music, Baby. you get me? Yeah, <laughs> need to hit. So he started making tracks mm. and saying, four corner music. Okay, so that's kind of how it Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, how yeah it that's how it started. Yeah, yeah. So obviously just as a liaison or uh, someone giving advice, that's mm. what it was at first. Mm. And then I realized, you know what? There's actually more artists. Then I heard <coughs> Handmaid and Vishaya mm -hmm. singing. And sister Shah came that's, that's, that's in. That's the sister right here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sister Shah came in, and then I heard yeah. her singing. Mm -hmm. yeah. They turned the plugs off. And it. for. <laughs> and then man that blacket hand. <laughs> yeah, then Blackerton. Mm. So, do you know what it was? So, from that, it was just a thing of, do you know what? I remember years ago saying, yo, we need to all come together. Now, when me saying, oh, yeah, this is other people in the truth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With different abilities, mm. music or uh, production, mm -hmm. photography. Anything kind of media based, yeah. Anything media based mm. that we would use or utilize out of the truth yeah. but in the truth mm -hmm. at the time when I said it not too many people are on it mm. but you know I just I'm a person that I'm a go-getter so mm. I just continue to do what I needed to yeah, do yeah. so what's what's your musical background before coming into the truth like what I guess music ex experience do you have that now you're kind of using now to push these artists under Four Corners music? Well, um, from a young age, I was um, on the Atlantic Records. <coughs> Brit School! <laughs> Street team. <laughs> nah, that, that had nothing to do. <laughs> Alright, so you're going that early. I'm going that from, early. From the age of 16, yeah. obviously, went Brit School, mm -hmm. doing creative stuff, arts, <laughs> new creative people mm. from the age of 16 going up. Mm -hmm. Once coming out of that, I joined Atlantic Records mm. Street Team. My manager at the time was a guy named DJ Matchstick. He's now on Kistery. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Met, you know, artists. Saw the structure in which way these major record labels done promotion and mm -hmm. marketing. That I went into the promotion side of things, doing events. Mm -hmm. So it's just 
getting a grasp on different different, yeah, different elements of elements media. of yeah. media mm. and entertainment mm. and I'm putting it and putting yeah. it together coming into the truth is like there's a lot of talent mm -hmm. but there's no marketing for them or they don't know how to market themselves yeah. So Definitely. they're bringing, there's do that such as my brother, mm. you know, no disrespect to him. He's bringing out bangers, yeah. but he's just but putting no them out. Yeah, there's yeah, no yeah. push behind it. Mm -hmm. And I find that that's a big thing within the truth. Mm. The truth music, yeah, even in America. Yeah. So Four Corner Music, I make a vow that, yeah, we're going to do things, trust four me. Corner. It's yeah. going gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna to do yeah. things and, yeah. you know, it starts now, so. All right, so as, you know, the creator of Four Corner Music group, um, you know, you've got your artist here, one that's missing today, but what would you say each individual artist for you like, made you say, you know what, yeah, you need to come under this label and I'm going to push you as artists? The thing is, Four Corner Music um, Group comes as, what you wouldn't know, it comes in three sections. Mm. You've got management, mm -hmm. marketing, mm -hmm. record label style, where there's a budget set for an artist, mm. you get managed, you get marketed. Then we also do the option of just marketing mm. where an artist will come with a budget mm -hmm. and you can, through your connections or our connections and folk on the music from in the world, mm. we utilize that. Mm -hmm. So it's not everyone under the label. You've got the marketing side, you've got management and you've got the all three. Mm in one so as you may know there's a few of them that are under everything and some that are under just the marketing and mm. so forth so mm. you know we just do what we can for everyone yeah it's about spreading to the four corners and trying to gain enough income to redo what you do like mm. a, it's like being in the world and having a re-up mm. you make your money yeah. you go and buy yeah, more yeah, again yeah. Reinvest it, back reinvest into, it yeah. into something, mm -hmm. make your money again, reinvest it mm -hmm. back into the same thing. So that's what it is, it's not to get rich or anything, mm -hmm. it's to just keep getting yeah, enough essentially in. you're pushing, yeah, you're trying to push. To push. You're pushing the message. So that's, 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 yeah. that's basically what it was. Um, each individual, I'll start from my left and make my way around. Mm -hmm. As I said, first artist mm -hmm. that I thought, yeah bars mm -hmm. just mm -hmm. needs refining yeah blackerton when it comes to the reggae scene spring there <laughs> no one else <laughs> there is no one else in truth music mm. doing the reggae style dance or style there is not yeah yeah so that's just easy mm. Mm. sister sharp r and b sides mm -hmm. and then we've got <laughs> and made her shy, the neo soul. So yes. if you notice, You've each different... artist brings different. Yes. There's no yeah. need for no yeah. one else, yeah. unless you want full con. You know, unless we're gonna have full control yeah. and all yeah. that. That's the only reason. Yeah. There's no. There's no need for anyone else. That's the four corners mm -hmm. hit yeah. with the different styles of music. Mm. And then obviously we got Dre. That's got the singer J. Yeah. S singer. Called America. <laughs> <laughs> the reggae slash R&B sort yeah, of yeah, yeah, yeah. singing style, you know? Yeah, definitely. So. But that's good though, like you got a different contrast of, you know, genres, different type of artists, they're not just... Because I, I guess sometimes it's hard if you've got like two R&B artists, like, okay, who, exactly. who gets pushed kind of And thing. then there's friction. Oh yeah, absolutely. In the world, yeah, yeah, of course. Bad boys and all the rest of these <laughs> yeah. other, <laughs> you know, time and time people again, feel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, so when you've got yeah. one from different eras or genres of music it does make it a lot easier to a lot yeah, easier yeah, you yeah, just definitely. use the same process mm -hmm. but to a different niche mm. all right wow so that's 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 <laughs> some healthy record label right there right. it's ready 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 i mean right <clears throat> ceo <laughs> then we move to the left. <laughs> I move to the left. Right. Goodbye, ya Allah. The first. The that's first, the, first yeah, the first artist, right? Artist. In um, mm -hmm. four corners. Yeah. Hello, young man. Hello, sir. You're How right. are you? Yeah. Why? Are you doing good works? What's going on? Hey, you know. Praise the Most High. Give thanks for this uh, <laughs> platform. 
I love his humility. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone that's thinking that's what I'm not saying, but Isn't that's it? literally what I was thinking. Oh, yeah. If there's one thing I can say about this guy, mm. first and foremost, in every conversation, you want to say give thanks and praises to the most. Oh, he is one. Without fail, yeah. that's this guy. So, so even when doing wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get to the, so the goodbye <laughs> the, um, saga now. Yes. How did it all started for you? Music. Music. Music started when I was, I would say, in my early teens. Um, I used to listen to like a lot of garage music, drum and bass, you know, like where a lot of the the UK kind of scene was. Uh, well, for my my age group, you know, what I mean, I'm 34 at the moment, so that's what I was listening to mm-hmm. when I was around like 14, 15. Mm-hmm. And I remember me and me and my friends like around the area, we used to like sometimes recite recite like the lyrics of another artist. Like say for instance, you know, like uh, I don't know if anybody remembers Skiba, Shaba, yep. mm. yeah, all those artists. Like sometimes we was, Jung, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it just started like kind of like that, you know. We used to just recite the lyrics and 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 and, and spit the bars, and I would say it was kind of like nursery rhymes what man was spitting from then. But I remember as far as, as far back as it goes, I remember that's where the music kind of started for me. Mm. But then over time, you know things the music the music scene started kind of changing i would say like when i got to my like my early 20s do you get what i'm saying like because you had like gigs because you never really had like rap like rap like in the uk like Mm. that do you get what i'm saying so from like between between that era to like that era i was kind of like growing up on like wu-tang clan Mm. killer army Mm -hmm. like all those like that 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 type of genre of rap Mm. and what i found with that that type of rap is that the reason why I, I liked listening to that and, I, and that's what I grew up on like as in rap is because like they would spit bars with like very technical intricate like styles and mm-hmm. flows and, and they'll say deep stuff but the deep stuff that they're saying is like knowledge as well mm-hmm. do you get what I'm saying so I drew I more drew to that still at my early stage mm-hmm. so yeah so when the when the scene for the rap changed for like the UK and stuff like that like rap came in and you know everybody's rapping mm. you know because before that it was like what they call grime mm-hmm. that's 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 what you know that's what we was all doing mm. do you know what I mean so yeah so and then obviously over time you know I mean there was one time yeah where I was going up West End with my with my, my friend Ray Kwan and we used to go up there and we used to do all nighters we will be rapping to crowds and stuff like that mm. and you know what yeah it's from there it was like, you know, like when you do like a driving, driving car test. Mm. It was like almost like a crash course in, 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 in like my, my lyrical ability and stuff like mm. that. Because all those times we'll go up and do all night and spitting every night, you know, to the crowds. It's like within that space, like within that year, like the, the, the lyrical ability was like, it was, it was, okay, a, it so was, nice. yeah, it was. So that, so that point was this more like, more rap that you're doing more so than mm. like doing grime yeah it was more rap it was oh, more okay, rap okay. yeah it was more rap mm. you know I still can't tell the difference what's the di- what I mean I know rap <laughs> but you know like sure grime and <laughs> garage and all that I don't know because they're all fast it's, yeah yeah it's, it's all garage, the garage is yeah. more like kind of poppy mm. kind of the grime yeah. is a bit more and like house what's cut- the difference no, house is like a whole other genre. Yeah. See, <laughs> they are the same to me. It's the, it's the beat patterns, isn't it? Yeah. It's slightly different it's on the beat yeah. patterns. But yeah. yeah, and then obviously, from then, I started doing videos with one guy called Mischief Television, mm. and that's when I was like on it. Like I was, I, I, I'll do videos with him. Like you know, I used to be under the name Gabriel Blacksmith, mm-hmm. and I, I used to do like <laughs> enough videos with him. I was on it. I was just so on it, so on it, and then like one time. I come across a video in it about obviously the troll tribes of Israel and that's when I started finding the truth and stuff like that. So obviously when I came into the truth Okay, you started to kinda of change your style. So Alan, you was you was blacksmith before you came into the truth? Gabriel Blacksmith, yeah. That was so you came in as blacksmith? Yeah, you could say so. Okay. But yeah, yeah, you could say so, yeah, you could say so. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. But then there, there was a there was a change because I didn't really want people to see my old stuff. Because my old stuff, oh, okay. even though like I would sometimes mention the Most High and stuff like that, 
Like I didn't really There was other things I was doing That obviously was still worldly innit? So mm. I didn't want to put That name out there And then they go and see The old stuff So oh, Okay so that's why you Then opted to change To Goodbye Your Goodbye Allah, your Allah. Oh, okay, Which was okay. which was a very good It was like a, I, I believe that was the, the right The right The right step And the right move mm. In changing the name Okay you know what I'm saying But yeah so, so So Kind of like Go fast forward in it To now mm. With your music And <laughs> I mean your music I mean <laughs> You already know how I feel there's certain times he sends me music and I'm just saying when I see I'm going to slap you because his music gasses me <laughs> but for those who have never listened to music and even just those who are like new to the genre of truth music like how would you describe your music? Do you mean like the genre or style or or, or how? Like I would say not so, not so much style because your style obviously it goes between being rap or whether you're spitting to grime or whatever. So you're like you 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 can pretty much spit to any genre, but it's more so the content of your music. Yeah, I would say the genre is, is truth music. Like we spit about the truth, like in uh, biblical, you know, biblical. Mm-hmm. Things that we see that's going on in the world, mm. you know, it's just anything that's true, you know, mm. anything that's true. So, you know, that's why it's called. Cool. That's why the genre. I'm not, I'm not sure if anybody is familiar with it out there, but mm. the, the genre would be called truth music. Mm. Yeah. Okay, okay. All right, let me ask you the last question, mm. and then we we'll move on to the next mm. artist. So, what would you say if, if there was an artist you say would that inspire your career as a rap? Would who, what artist would you say? Your mean, pattern, really? What do you mean, like from young, younger, younger? Time? Just generally, no. with any artist mm-hmm. we said now, we said, boy, you know, I what? ain't really been listening to anybody recently like that. But I would say, people, so someone in the truth that like would inspire me would be like artists like I don't know, maybe Darak mm. um Man, it's, <laughs> it's a hard one. Lack of time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know what? For a long time, you know what? One thing here, yeah, when I when I started doing music, yeah, when I started like taking my music serious, yeah, I kind of stopped listening to other like artists and music, you know. Mm. So it's like, Same. yeah, that's <laughs> so. It's like you know, if I hear something and it's good, yeah, I'll, I'll be like, yeah, that's good. But mm. I kind of after a certain point, I kind of stopped listening to like mm. other mu- other music, like other people's music. Like, mm. Yeah. yeah. Final question for me. Um, you have a, a, a single out currently. Right now? That's doing well, yeah. Um, yeah it's Hold cool. on. Oh. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> very good song. Very good track. Very good video. I saw the video. You saw, you saw the video? Mm-hmm. It's very good. And um, I must you applaud you on that one. The one featuring um, Lakitan, right? Yeah, oh, we're going to yeah. get Black Tan next. Yeah, he's, he's next in line. Mm-hmm. Very, very good song, and I, I really like it. You know what I mean? And um, keep up the good work, mm-hmm. and we'll continue watching, continue supporting. I'm a fan. <laughs> I like it, definitely. <laughs> so, move on to move the on black, to black one. Tan. <laughs> the black Where one. Get that olive Give them the love. I'm <laughs> telling you, that's like become the anthem of the year for me. <laughs> <laughs> like I literally, like, it's almost like I wake up every morning and there's a sprinkle of olive oil. Yeah, we've got like, five more days left for that. Cheers, come on. Plug it, plug Work it, plug it. Work on our music. Five more days to the end of the year. Oh. You, said it, you said it's the song of the year. It's the song of the year. It like, trumps everything. Don't worry about it. It trumps the whole time. <laughs> it's the, song the whole of, of 2020. It's the song of the biblical year, so we still got... Yeah, yeah. we still, still got it. <laughs> um, Lakitan. Lakitan. You. Up full, up full. You, know, you know, you know, you know, that before you even go into Lakitan, mm. one of the first things that I always want to ask you, where that came from, Black Yatan? What does that mean? What, I mean, what does it mean for you? I mean, I've always... I don't want to make no assumption. You know what I mean? I don't want to know... If you say, if say Black Yatan, if you say Black Yatan, then I will assume I say, well, the Black Yatan. But you say Black Yatan, so there's a different spell to it. So, what's the flair on that? Yeah, Black Yatan, no. It comes from my skin complexion. And also, I get I, I take a piece of it from the most eh? name, and that's how I turn. So I just. <laughs> <laughs> black, black, turn. That's, yeah, that, that's, that's, that's acceptable. Yeah. All right. Yeah, oh. All right. So. <laughs> 
you are very quirky like your character everything yeah about your whole presentation the way you perform everything like this comes to life <laughs> like i can just watch you <laughs> and just be amused by you like and not get bored like where does that come from is that is that you in general is that just like a character that comes to life when you're on stage yeah um i'm like me right now not doing stage or anything mm. i'm a quiet person mm. but when it comes to performing mm -hmm. that's when it it's comes like, alive mm -hmm. because um i'm coming from before i get um i will i, I, I name myself black mm. i'm coming from megaflex mm. and that was your dj and from i was 15 years old i was playing music right. and touring the mm. places is them with um, a song named Swash International. Mm. And before even that, I have to mention my old man, my, my, my dad who passed away. Mm. That's where the, the old music come from. So that was your inspiration? That's yeah, because he's a lead guitar player. Enough time he used to underneath him, Mango Tree. Mm. And mm. all the various kind of artists just come up and uh, chill out and rehearse. And so all of these things come from my old man. That's how I meet, uh, I, I meet um, Dean Fraser, who is, you have to call him, you have to call it, he's um, like a godfather to me, because mm -hmm. I grew up with Dean Fraser, them grew up with Sly and Robbie, wow. you know, all these great um, people. Yeah, so it comes from that time. Okay. Yeah, the inspiration. But what get me in confidence now mm. on stage because playing um, the sound system, I have to stand up in front of thousands of people and that boots the confidence. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'm I, I coming from there, okay, from, okay. from playing music, although I didn't have it, the inner, um, the, um, the performance, the talent part of being an artist into me, mm. I didn't take up that at first. I did more into selecting. Okay, okay. Okay, so then, so when did you start like writing? Is it you come into I, the truth or was you writing? No, I was writing before, before I was in Evil the Truth because, okay. um, Evil Dre that you mentioned, yeah, um, we, um, we were doing some things outside the world mm -hmm. at that time, mm. you know, um, as where Gabaria Allah said, um, that name has been hidden. That's why um, I even changed the name to Blacketon mm. because I don't want no one to associate me with, with um, what you was doing in the Mega Flex yeah. that was going on. Mm. You know, got Mega Flex come with a lot of things, you know, yeah. baggage and, and things. <laughs> <lot> of things. <laughs> yeah, I, I, to tell you the truth, I don't regret it because it helped me to find my growth. Mm. You know, so I, I don't really regret it at all. Mm. Because it's stages. Yeah, of course. You know? Yeah, yeah man. Okay. So it's more so it's more so like you, Gaboyala and Blackitan, more so that was kinda in the world doing music. Obviously you, you went under whatever name you did and then came into the truth for you know what? Well let me change my name, I don't wanna have no kind of yeah. association no with No part with that. Okay. Is this yeah. the same for you two? That's the same now. As well, no? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah. You was you was recording in the world as well. Not really, but I was in yeah. gospel. Yeah. So Okay, so yeah, yeah. Really <laughs> so you're all right. So you're like that. No, so it's yeah. not really that anyone could go back and be like, Oh, but she was kinda of nah. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, all right. So Blackitan like this is what I need to talk about, okay? Like mm -hmm. I said, like I wake up singing Sprinkle All About. <laughs> <laughs> that's my track now, okay? That's my track for twenty twenty. Mm -hmm. Like what inspired <laughs> like what inspired that song? Yeah, because what's going on in the in the hurt now? Mm. Yeah, the hurt needs some cleansing. Mm -hmm. because, <laughs> mm -hmm. like yeah, because you know it's like majority of the people are going left. Mm. You know, and the type of music where um, these artists are singing now, it's you know it's really out of bound for. For even the kids them listen. Mm, true, you know, true. if it's not murder, if it's not about woman in a drugs, explicit way, mm. it's money. about drugs, <laughs> money, mm. scamming. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. So it need a balance. Yeah. It need a balance. And as I said before, the earth need cleansing because when I was growing up, I know people um, um people have to pass on. Mm. Right, but in this time, there's a lot of people passing on so quick.
quickly. Mm. There's so much things going on. So, uh, yeah, you know, I, I feel that spirit um, say, boy, well, I need a balance. Mm. So, you know, sprinkle the aloe vile come at that point, yeah. uh, you know, for, uh, for give the earth some cleansing. Mm. Yeah. I mean, like, you're, you got a lot of songs out there. Um, and I think probably as a, as a general thing, especially more so for you lot that rap, that your lyrics would be a lot more controversial. Mm. So for you, Black and Tan, like, for those who have never listened to your song, like, how would you describe your music content-wise? My music, no. Versatility. Mm. Spontaneous. Mm. <laughs> Defo. <laughs> you know, um, I would take you many places. Mm. You know? Um, that's me really with my music. Mm. My music speak in all different ways. Mm. You're right on that one. Mm. Because <laughs> you hear the part in the track, one of the track you did about um about um job job wife, them a run and there was no Uber. They were flee. This yeah. was no, not to look back, but yeah. they flee and there was no Uber, so they have to leg it. And there was no Uber. That's <laughs> lat, 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 lat. Lat, yeah, yeah. 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 I said Joe. Lat, lat, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Lat. And, Saracis, and, yeah, and go, go. one of the things is, that like you said, the first time I come across Olive Oil, I start laugh, I laugh, I call him. Straight away, I call him, I say, yo. Brother, I don't even know if you know what you're doing now, but this track here, you see this track here? It's a big track. And all he was laughing because the part that caught me with that track more than anything else. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so I was waiting for every, it to come. Everything else <laughs> connects to me. But you see that part there, I'm thinking only black and tower with something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like him, I think. Hmm. Yo, you guys have a voice note in me as well. Like, Just that. Hmm. <laughs> You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Notice more some music. Them um, I put humor. Mm. Into them. You do, yeah. You that do. means that people can't say, that, that, yeah. that guy there, you entertainment. Know, mm. yeah, because Truth entertainment. It's a serious mm. message, but you don't want the people them to yeah, over yeah, things. Yeah, I see what you mean. So yeah, I put yeah. a little humor in it. Mm. Yeah, that's you all do that in a lot of your tracks. Yeah, I yeah. yeah. Like, <laughs> like, 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 yeah, no, baby, wait, 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 wait. Can you do that laugh now? Can you do it? This one. How did this do? Yeah. Yeah. But it, it, it's it's quite it's it's, yeah. it's, it's a big song mm. and it's very catchy mm -hmm. and it's one of them songs where you definitely need a video for that. Oh, 100 percent. I did it, but I didn't know it would with a really. At this outburst, mm. to tell you the honest truth, mm. I did it, and you know sometimes when you when you, when you write songs, and you have that one say yeah, mm -hmm. that is a bad one. Yeah, right. But what is bad to you? Sometimes the, the, the audience say no, this one, that this up. one. Mm, you know what I mean? True, so, true. <laughs> but even even the other song, the other song um that I was listening afterwards that um. We know, you know, not, we know evil. Mm. Yeah. You see that song? Yeah. Man? Next big song. Yeah, yeah. You understand? But you see, you see how music go, they all go in time and season. Yeah, because you see that now, that's true, true. A, a more secular reggae. Yeah. Mm. As, I, as, I, as I say, uh, uh, it's versatility. Mm. Yeah. You can hear me do a little rapping. You can hear me upon a reggae, you can hear me upon a dance. Mm. You know and I mean? that's the thing in within truth music. There's not a lot of dancehall artists yeah. out there, so it's like a lot of eyes will be on you more so because of that. Yeah, definitely because um, I see enough of the um, the great artists them that um, I used to look up to. It's like they are dropping the ball, mm. you know. And for me, you know, in this truth and the teaching. That I have obtained mm. and these things, yeah, uh, it 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 expand my knowledge more to in the music mm -hmm. because when I break away from the world, um, with all these negativity music mm. because uh, there's a lot of negativity song I used mm. to do, mm -hmm. but the most I remove that and, and and put new words, yeah, that's it, in me and. 
Sometimes I have to laugh with all my four walls them. Mm. Laugh with mm -hmm. the spirit and you know because it's amazing to see where it's taking me. Mm. Yeah, and some of the music them write after I, I know it's come from the most high. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah man. Yeah. Right. Yeah. We'll right. Wrap up. Yeah man. Yeah. Shaw. Sure. Yes. Yeah, sister Shaw. Sure. Sister Shaw. Sure. <laughs> sister Shaw. Sure. Um you know one thing I want to say before I like ask your question is what I'm loving about Four Corners music is that every artist that you have here there's no other artist like like them within truth music that's what makes Four Corners music group so great because there's no artist like no one can't to me can spit like you mm -mm. there's no dancehall artist like Trust you me, there's no R&B artist like you nor is there no neo soul artist like you that's what <clears> makes <throat> this whole record label amazing and that's, 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 yeah. I know you wouldn't got to show, but that's the... A piece. I can't just yeah. do straight hip hop, you understand? Yeah. Then when you came about and I was like, finally, yes, <laughs> R&B. So obviously, I know you mentioned before, like you came from the world, but you was in gospel. So you can't really call it a world world, but yeah. you were still doing music that was exalting most the most nice. high. Yeah. You know, but um, obviously then your transition from being in a Christian church doing gospel music to now the truth, like, what's the transition been for you or has there been much of a transition, like a major kind of change for you? Um, to be honest, not really in the sense that the music was always about the most high and praising the most high. So I've tried to keep that same foundation mm. and just, you know, now we know certain things were a little bit different. Mm. Um, I tried to portray that in the content. Mm. So um, when I was in the Christian church, I was in a group with um, two other girls. Mm. We didn't actually put nothing out there like that. Yeah. But um, we were just used to, we just used to sing at church or go around to different churches to lead worship or something oh, okay. and, and them kind of things yeah, there. Yeah. Um, and then the group broke down. But for me, that they was like my little comfort zone. Mm. I didn't ever have any plans to do or become an individual oh, artist. Okay, okay, so okay. when I came into the truth now, it was mm. a thing of, what you're gonna do? Sit on your gift. Yeah. And I knew I had a passion for worship, so I, I, I thought, do you know what? Like that's why the, the first skit was like, I'll go, I'll do it for you. Or, hey, I'll, mm. I'll go and I'll do it for you. Yeah. So that was me. That was a statement to say, like, do you know what? I'm gonna sing for the most yeah. part and yeah. just step out in faith and, you know, um, whatever insecurities I had, just lay them down mm. and then pick up the music <coughs> and, do it and yeah. go forth. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, it wasn't much of a transition yeah. because obviously I still. Um, you know, had a love and passion for the most yeah, part. Yeah, of course. But it's just yeah. the content that changed. All oh, right. Okay. Mm. Okay. Cool. So you've got, um, I've got two EPs, but you've got two EPs and an extension of your second EP. Yeah. Um, which is your deluxe version of the Unveil Two. Yeah. So what would? What's your? Um, let's call it growth. What's your growth from your first EP to your second EP? The first EP, like, was it was called Unveiled because I felt like. A, a veil had fallen from my eyes mm -hmm. so I'm like wow there's been an unveiling so I'd learnt you know new truths and, mm -hmm. and things like that with regard to the bible and them mm -hmm. kind of things there yeah, so that was just like me magnifying the most high mm -hmm. you know a lot of the songs are more worship based you know hi I can't live without mm -hmm. you you're my lord you're my father that kind of thing mm -hmm. and then the second EP was boy you know when the most high take you through some certain <laughs> <laughs> back roads yeah. <laughs> listen yeah no 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 Back road is an understatement. Right. Okay, through the valleys, <laughs> up the mountain. It's like a matrix. <laughs> through like the a desert. desert. <laughs> yes. So the growth, the yeah, valleys. was in the hills and the valleys and the low times, mm. boy. That was the growth. Like, yeah. oh my lord, what have I stepped into? Yeah, yeah. So, and um, the second EP was like more so based on experiences that I'd um, been through. through. And yeah, it's like, okay, yeah. I want to, you know, kind of, because the music, I don't just sing for everyone, I sing for to and for myself yeah. as well. Mm -hmm. So it was, um, you know, just portraying those experiences or things that I felt or mm. been through, the hardships and, you know, the, still praising the most I yeah. through it. Yeah. That was meant to portray that mm. and what I've been through from the first to the second mm -hmm. project. All right. So, say through the first year, I mean, there's a lot of, there's a lot of tracks from your first EP and there's a lot of people that still are like, you know, this is like, this is my EP. Is my EP and EP, yeah. I know probably for you as the artist, I'm not, I'm not, yeah. I can't hear myself. I think you said that to me not too long ago, like you don't want to hear mm. like that EP no more. But mm. I guess that's just an artist thing. Like if you've kind of gone from one to the next project, you're like, nah, like then that yeah, one now. Yeah. But, um, but your first EP though, what would you say is your, your baby track? Why? 
And you know what? There was one song that I wrote. It was called um, "Love Like This." Mm. And that was that's like, like ballad type, yeah. yeah, it was the ballad one. <laughs> one yeah. Um it was that one because that was me literally writing my love letter to the most high. Like mm. I have so much to say to you. Mm. I've never known a love like this. That was like, one of your favourites if I remember correctly. Mm. It's still yeah. my favourite. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, boy, that track was like, do you know what? Oh my lord, when you think about what you've been through mm -hmm. or the things that you've done and mm. and then you've come to a pure love yeah. that is, is 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 doesn't judge you but has accepted yeah, you for who yeah. you are and yeah. is willing to clean you up. Mm. So that is that 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 one was my um that's my nice. one so number one, one track oh, yeah okay. all right so unveil two mm. what's your baby track on that one yeah. well that is uh, it's a deep it's a deep <laughs> ep because i know <laughs> that's like like you poured your heart out on that yeah, one that one boy if you really listen to it intently like that's mm. you went in that's like p personal things you've gone through you've poured your heart out mm -hmm. do you know what i mean so i guess maybe it's a bit hard to say which one really yeah, is your baby it's hard. track because a lot of it would obviously is close to your heart mm. a lot of the tracks that you wrote mm. so zeal <laughs> listen she's only saying zeal because she's on it her name got mentioned yeah, that track. that's the only reason why that so <laughs> no that's a big track still yeah that one but it's relaxed right around here i'm sorry that's my that's my <laughs> That's my yeah, shoulder yeah, bounce yeah, tree, you know what I mean? I'm bouncing up without saying that. Gates on that one. Listen, listen to me! You know when, you know when Gates comes on? My daughter. Yo, listen. <laughs> okay, listen. When Gates comes on, boy. When Gates comes boy. on, mm -mm. I nearly dashed my phone. <laughs> I was, with, I was actually with Shah. That day she showed me the track. I was like, what? I wanted to call Gabriel that day and be like, listen. <laughs> you got my daughter you know the time base. They even listen, play. Like, there's, <laughs> even a, there's even another rapper on that track. I couldn't even get past Gabriel. Like, I it? kept him rewinding his part. <laughs> I like, nah, this guy's done. You're too much. Isn't That's it? why your forehead. You're lucky you've got a forehead. Because it's going to lap off your forehead. <laughs> it? it was too much. But it's like around here. That, that, there's so many other tracks on there. But you see that one there? That's, that's, that's my, the one for you. That's <laughs> my shoulder tune. bounce too right there. <laughs> then you've got obviously the Dulux. Yeah. And my track, oh, I can't even the name. You know which track I'm Fight. Like. Come on. Fight 2. Fight 2. Mm. Listen. <laughs> you see Cable like, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah boy. <laughs> that one there, mm. when I heard that one, I'm one of them people, like, when I hear a track and I love the track, I can't come off the track. Mm. Like, it's on, on repeat. constant repeat. Like, and that track that one track was on repeat for a whole entire week i couldn't come off it like mm. <laughs> it's like it's so deep this, this is a track of yours we're about to talk about that in a minute but fight to there and boy since i told you that the inspiration that you get from the holy spirit clearly is on you when you write your music you know what i mean but what's like your process of writing like is it just it just comes to your that like, how do you even come to writing tracks like this? depends well sometimes i have to be reading reading my scriptures mm. and then I might get inspiration from that or other times okay. I have to throw on my headscarf and sit there and just do you know what I mean meditate or mm. sing myself sing to the most I have a little worship therapy and you, then do you I'll like get something tell yourself like no I'm going to write today or is it just literally this is this the inspiration that you feel that yeah it's I whatever I feel I can't just sit there and write it mm. has to be um I have to feel it or be in the mood yeah, to do yeah, it yeah. um yeah, and then I'll sit there and you know, go before the throne and, just and then you start right. One, yeah. the one of the things is I, I like to ask, I always ask artists, is, um, with, how do you get a sound? I mean, you, I could write something. I could sit there and Taz decide, you know what, I'm going to write a bad lyrics. But where do I get the sound from? That sound of the song, the melody. that melody, yeah. yeah. Where do you get that? <laughs> that's that's, that's the most hard way. I can't even say that that's anything that's of myself. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah it's, 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 it's the inner soul and mm -hmm. it's um, oh, your voice can take certain note also. Mm. You know, so yeah. Okay. All right. One last question on the arts. Like I've noticed that you're confidently rapping more. Oh my god. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> Yes. Is it? Yeah, she is confidently man. rapping on, <laughs> on her tracks. The rap is listen, shot. she's about to shock some people with another track. Um, listen, it's coming. She's about to shock some people. Wow, I'm shocked. So like what like what is it? 
But what's made you more confident now to say, you know what, I'm not just going to sing, I'm going to start rapping now? Do you know what? Yeah, it's, it's, it's from like that like game, the back in the day when I used to listen to radio. <laughs> <laughs> I've done my tape and, and you record recorded it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So I've always had it in me, little, you know, listening to yeah, listening yeah. to the rap and the yeah. grime. I've always, I love grime like from a long time. Mm, so so always I've to always wanted to try oh, a little okay, thing. Okay, so okay. I tried to follow Christ. That yeah. one was it took me for now three months to write the one verse. <laughs> <laughs> but now I'm getting a little bit, you know, yeah, refining yeah. the craft. So yeah. it's a bit easier. But okay. yeah, um, listen, I have to try to do more rap. Yeah, man. Face the worst time. Yeah. Now it sounded good. I like it. I like it. Yeah, I like it. Mm. Praise me. Haven't made the like shine. Black Atan's rubbing off in you as well. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 It. people are not going to know what you're talking about unless you play, stinking the, spirits. You know, play the track mm. Mm. oh yeah that's thinking yeah that Dutty's one listen spirits. someone vex me but then vex me then vex me <laughs> and i couldn't respond in a way that i wanted to respond so i had to tell them you said you know <laughs> see that that is thinking spirit that you are amped with <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> yeah. 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 me yeah. 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 Um, but yeah. Hello. 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 Hi. 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 You, Hi. my dear. Mm. You see it as much as I love R and B. You see Neo Soul. Hey. Mm. That is my baby right there. Hey. And you are the artist. There is no other truth music artist for me personally <laughs> <laughs> that has that your awesome. sound. Awesome. And the thing is, like your your lyric writing, like is so. Mm. It's so way. Like back. yeah, it's like awesome. I can't. Like you're definitely anointed when you when you write clearly. I because can't, I can't write unless I've, I've had you have a visit. To, clearly I have because to have your lyrics is not as and it's, everybody it's not else's. my own lyrics, as you know. I mm, sing you're scripture. Inspired, yeah, yeah. So um, I can't, I can't. I would not take the. But funny enough, like your music, like and I send to even friends and family members, and like, no, no, I like this artist, and I don't know nothing about truth music, but there's something about your music that makes them be like no i'm gonna sit down and listen to this so i praise the most high for that because obviously that's a gateway for people coming in absolutely to the truth yeah. to layers of vocals mm. that's that's the that's start it, yeah no one else no one else does that but um your scott swag right that's what i heard that's what i heard that's true mm, that's true you yeah. yeah. said that i could actually that all Easy, relax, mm. Sunday morning mm. kind of vibe. That's the kind of vibe, yeah. yeah. You know? I don't yeah. know if I could Which, do it You know what? <laughs> I don't know if I could that, do it. That, that, that Sunday morning, right, was supposed to be Sabbath morning. But because, it, you know, the pagan turned the Sunday yeah. into, you know what I mean? So it's a Sabbath morning, relax, mm -hmm. yeah. easy, yeah. like Sabbath morning. That's that's it. Really, yeah. That's, yeah, that's, that's, that's you. That's kind, of, like... kind of moaning, crying. <laughs> Is that still sound the beat? Yeah. Like I said, there's no other artist in two music for me personally that has your sound at all. I have the, 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 the pleasure, honor, whatever. Mm -hmm. I've actually sit listening to these two sisters. Oh, that day was actually seven putting a song uh, together. Uh, I, I, I was I was well, I actually, overheard. Was actually, it wasn't my business, but I couldn't help but hearing. <laughs> and I was like and I sat there and I'm thinking, this is how they make music. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. they they sound <laughs> and and Shaw was like, oh no, you need Shaw. No, you, you see before the first who, mm. then you put two more who. Like, two more who. <laughs> 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 two more who. Oh, there was no retreat. In it. Like, no, there was no retreat this week, man. No, no, no. No, we, we, no in in sister, in, I have to say, in sister Shaw, I found <laughs> such a familiar spirit in in the writer's sense mm -hmm. you know i've got you know a couple of sisters but um you know we we have Connection. an affinity mm, that yeah. is sit in song oh yeah my you goodness. too when you yeah my the sun boy yeah, yeah this that's... girl's music takes me before that <laughs> i have to love my face you see um, i said that i see, you you see i said fight two was that song to the front, hey. fight two was that song for me you see when i heard don't let the devil get in hey hey yeah that's my song what yeah don't let the devil that that was i think that was a whole bump that's my song. It's still on the now. That, that's <laughs> actually a phrase. Mm, mm, people actually in. say it mm. to kind of oh, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't let it get in. Don't let it get in. Is that a song? What? It's a song, but yeah, we say yeah. it as a phrase. As a phrase now. Like, yeah, so I'm saying that. Yeah, that's yeah, her yeah, song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's her song. Yeah, her song. I keep hearing that. Even when on the chat, 
I keep it dole it. They don't get I'm thinking, but I thought it was just something among them. Not no, realizing. No, no, no. There's, there's a backstory. There, there's a backstory. Please, to that, you know. Um, I remember, you know, as a um, as a body, we were all somewhere. And you know, we were just Israelites together. Mm. And fight broke out mm. over there, sir. Mm -mm. Like, it was you. <laughs> <laughs> and before you know it, you know, we was out, we was having a sports day. And then the sports day just mash up mm. and, and everybody fall out mm. and everybody start barling. Mm -hmm. So we was all barling. None of us was fighting, but we're barling for our sisters mm. who are fighting. So from that, I went home. Oh, so that's what inspired us. Yeah, yeah. and I was wow, like, mm. there's something that needs wow, to be this, said. Yeah. We're so broken, mm -hmm. you know. Mm. So that's where that one came. And it was like trying to say to the people, don't let the devil get in. Because mm. if the devil gets in, the thoughts that you think they're his thoughts, yeah. that you're yeah. going to think they're, they're yours yeah. kind of thing. Mm. So that's the backstory to that one. That's some man. That's it, you said it anyway. It's still on repeat. Yeah. What time the next? Yeah. Oh, that's, 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 that's right. Come on, Lucky Tan. Listen, that's my mum's track right there. That's my mum's track. I can actually say I was there and witnessed when that was written. Mm -hmm. In a split yeah. second. We were in a field yeah. doing Feast of Tabernacles yeah. and she opened the Strong's Concordance and was just. A beat was playing, it says, mm -hmm. I know you not deeper from yep. me. Yo, you know, it's like, yo. Is that the same song? Yeah, yeah goes to the left. It's not don't let like, the get devil get in. No, 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 I'm talking about the, the, the one that you were singing about, only a higher. Um, no, that, that's heaven song. Oh, heaven song. Oh, heaven song. Hey, see that song? Yeah. That's my song. Yeah. No, that's my song. Yeah, that's my song. This is three songs you like, are mentioning. I know. Now. So, I know right? That's what I'm saying. Because yeah. yeah. I'm trying to. Yeah. I, I don't that's know. I don't are. know the songs and by name. <laughs> but that and, song. And this is the reason why she needs to be on the four corner yes. music because 100%. she's making all these wonderful songs and then doing nothing with them. You know, my one is our chasing. Oh, Chasing, yes. that's my one. No, yeah. listen, there was one song that sis was singing to me on Sunday. Yeah, I made her sing it to me. I'm trying to make you sing it four, four times. No, 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 no listen, like, you ain't ready for it's this one. Dead Sea Scrolls song. Oh, oh, you're going to sing that to me today. <laughs> I, was on my, I was on the floor. Off camera, she's singing that to us today. I was on the floor. We, we, I yeah, we, have, we don't have much time. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have more time, so we need to. We just went into the song. Don't worry, all right, all right. Because right. <laughs> I just want people to have a background of how you got into doing music. So yeah. just, just a quick summary of like this your journey from youth to now. How did you get into music? What inspired youth. you? Uh, when I was, you know, my dad's a singer. Oh, um, okay. Yeah. No, I come from a family oh, of singers. I, know that, I don't know if you ever heard of Glass. They were on Terry Wogan back in the day. That's like my dad's nieces. Mm. I come from a, a musical family. I've got uh, Yeah. So um, I remember my dad singing, um, I'll take you there. Lying to the races hey, and my sister, I'll take, take you there. there. And me and my sister's in the background there. doing the backing. I'll take you and there. there. <laughs> <laughs> But you know that's the part, the only part of the song I know. <laughs> <laughs> and I hum the rest. <laughs> mm, uh, uh, I take it there. Uh, uh. Same, same here. So from there, you know, I was brought up in the church. I wasn't, you know, it was a Jehovah's Witness to start off with. Mm. And you know, they don't really sing like that. So um, I had to steal snippets of gospel from when, you know, family went here and there to other different churches. So... Gospel was something that inspired me, but I couldn't really grab it, so mm. I, I couldn't I couldn't really catch that flow. Mm -hmm. But went from there to you know when I was fourteen, I got I got signed. I had a manager, um, and so I spent about two years recording a bunch of tracks. Mm. I think the producer had a, a, a crush on me mm -hmm. uh, because you know when I went into when I, you know, I turned sixteen. I wasn't really interested in keeping you know trips to the studio, mm. being on time. You know. I, started doing mad stuff so anyway he kept the tracks mm -hmm. i haven't seen those tracks in ages wow. i had i had a single i had photo shoots you know i, I was i was doing wow. that um there was loads of times when i went to like auditions for emi and things like that in the same room as for example some of the mackenzies if you know the mm -hmm. mackenzie sisters 
Um, but yeah, that 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 was how I came through. You know, ever heard of LCGC London Community oh, Gospel yeah. Choir? Yeah. It's my family. Yeah. But he would never let us get into the choir. He would never wow. choose us. You know, me and my cousins always wanted to sing. He would never choose us. So from there, it being in that studio for two years, I watched the producer mix mm. my vocals. So now when it comes to me wanting to sing, and, and I'm a journalist. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah. And so I was I was a broadcast journalist, yeah. radio journalist. Mm. So I know how to mix my own vocals oh, watching okay. that. So yeah, now yeah. when I write, uh, got into truth music from, you know, obviously finding the truth. Yeah. I think for a year, this one kept saying to me, do you sing? And I just kept going, mm, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but every night they yeah. like, do you sing? Like, mm, yeah, but I never sang for a yeah. straight year until wow. someone said, you know, put together a choir oh, or whatever, and then, okay, okay. then started kind of singing thing. truth music. Mm -hmm. But to be honest, Goats to the Left was the very first truth music big song tune, that I ever, very big ever, yeah, ever wrote. Very big so, um, that's my journey. That's more or less my journey. Okay. I like to I like to mix my own vocals and yeah. then send it to the studio. I can't work in a studio with someone because I need the time. <laughs> I need the space mm. to, to do my own stuff and then mm. I will send it to, to be done. All right. So, Mr. CEO, what's next? for your artists? Um, January 10th, mm -hmm. Oliver, mm -hmm. out on all platforms. Mm -hmm. Spring! Uh, not, we just don't say, oh, you that just Oliver. Oliver. It's not just Benjamin, oh, this is hitting everyone, the four corners. Olive so I have to use it in a proper English manner. In a proper olive oil. In a proper English manner. You know, that's how Benjamin might sound when they're trying to speak proper English. Olive oil. We've got this year we take over shortly after that. Then we've got anything Jeez, after this one Shire. finishes the track. And then she's got her EP mm -hmm. and then we're gonna be working on something, a new EP with Sister, Sister Shaw. Shaw. And some visuals. Yeah, definitely. Mm, yeah, yeah. Uh, nice. Yeah, Very trust good me, team. Twenty twenty one. For Kony music, mm -hmm. you you know about mm -hmm. us, trust me. All right, so all socials: Gabaya Allah, Blackitan, Handmaiden in Shire, Sister Shah, CEO, <laughs> CEO for <laughs> Kony music. Just call me no CEO. Shut up. That's it. That's CEO. CEO. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. You mean Shut CEO? Up. <laughs> <laughs> they said the 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 Simon the Simon the Simon, Simon Cow yeah, for yeah, truth yeah. music. But yeah. I mean, guys, you know. Very inspiring. Mm. Keep up the good work. The more side definitely is with you. Yeah. You know what I mean? You can side. tell. You know what I mean? Because it's, it's some great stuff going on here. Mm. Mm. And, you know, everyone, you know, seem to be level in their own space. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? No one's stepping on anyone. So mm. it's good. Yeah. Never that. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. yeah. 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 That's right. Four cars. Everybody have a car and a finish. Well, guys, you know, we know, it's, you know, it's been busy. It's been COVID time, but you know, we but take, the, take the time, yeah, man. You take the time to, you know, share your story with us and the world, and we appreciate that. Yeah, thank you, guys. Yeah. Thanks for having us. Yeah. I do remember I have an EP coming too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you know. For that hour, so. I'm looking forward to that. Yeah. I'm ready to start skanking already. <laughs> yeah, man. I, Bless it. I, I think I have to rearrange your name. I'll leave it on to <laughs> Leave out. the CEO. <laughs> 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 you yeah, better stop with that nonsense. Hey. Right. Here we go. Right. Thank you. Nice. nice. It's a wrap. Good. Hey guys. Good. Excellent. Wrap. Wrap. Please, yeah, let me go see my child. Yeah. She's not going to be talking about you, boy. Passes out from all that screaming. <laughs>